Hello. In this short lesson, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the minor scale. If you read the uh, information I gave you above, we'll start with the relative minor scale. For every major scale, in every major key, there's a relative minor key. And uh, the way to find that, and I'm going to use the C major scale as an example, should know this one by now, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All white notes, nice and easy to see and visualize on the keyboard. Now to find the relative minor scale to that, we take the C note and go down three half steps. One, two, three. And we get to the A note. Now it's related because the A minor scale will have the same key signature as the C scale. That means no sharps or flats. So here's C major and here's A minor. And those that's the relative minor. Now you can see that the major scale sounds sort of bright and happy where the minor scale sort of sounds dark and and kind of sad. So that's pretty important to know. Now the other two types of minor scales, uh, as you saw, as you read, that's called the natural minor now. And then we're going to talk about harmonic minor. Now to make the harm that A scale a harmonic minor scale, all we do is raise the seventh note. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7 and A again. Has sort of a Middle Eastern feel to me. Okay, that's A harmonic minor. There's also A melodic minor, where you, where you raise the 6th uh, and the 7th note going up the scale. 3, 4, 5, And then coming down, you come back down the natural minor scale, called melodic minor. Now, that one I don't particularly use too much, and I don't really think when I'm playing, I'm going to play a harmonic minor scale or a melodic minor scale, but let me just give you a little bit of the sounds here. I'll play a little bit with the A minor scale. C. Any of those diatonic chords. A little blues in there. So that's a little bit about the minor scale. Hope you got something out of that lesson. I find it's nice to not just read about it, but to actually see it on the keyboard. So again, to review, every major scale has a relative minor scale. In C, you would count down one, two, three half steps, play the same notes, and you've got the minor scale. If you get that much out of this lesson, that's good. Now, if there's anything else I can help you with, feel free to contact me uh, using the contact form on the bottom of the page here. And anything I can do to help you get more out of playing, let me know. Thanks for making me your personal piano professor.